Whether it's a date with the number one team in the nation or a regular season game in the Big East, the roots of preparation are planted here. We've got to be able to get one foot in the paint and head turn and know any movement that guy makes on the drive, I'm going to him. We've got to anticipate it and steal the pass. We've got to get our hands in here to our shoulder. Our hands are out like this, which is making us stand up. If you, if you get your hands in here, you're going to stay low and wide. When you get your hands out here, you're going to stand up. So we got to start thinking. We're getting in the lane to score. We don't have it in the lane to score. We're looking at the rim, down, and opposite. You got it? It's hard to learn how to play our way, but once you learn it, it makes the game really easy. So the, the whole goal is to get to a point where you've got the concepts as a player down, and they're your habits, and then you're just playing with a free mind, and you don't have to think and you can just go play. But that process of getting there to where you get to that free mind and you get the trust of your teammates and coaches is very difficult. The first time he's on the high side, you cross the 45, right? The second time you cross the 45, he fights over top. You throw it back up top. The third time when he's behind him, you throw it back up top. Do you understand why you're throwing it up top right away? Why? On a roster with six new players, five of them freshmen, lessons this season have focused on the basic building blocks. In order to be reliable and based in the freedom part of, on the team, you have to know a good amount and you have to know what you're doing out there at all times and you have to be trusted. So that for them, like, <laughs> it's a lot, but you know, there's, they're observing it better than I ever could and that's, that's a great thing. When you guys went to attack and you kicked it ahead to him and you basket cut, yeah. I don't know if he just wasn't open or he didn't look, but that's a good, that's a good cut by you. Good, we gotta look for that, but just gotta be there. It's like, dang, I got a lot to learn. I'm, I'm young, and I don't really know what's going on yet, but the other coaches were here pushing me, my teammates, the leaders, they were here to uh, stay with me and push me. I'm not the best player on the court, and I'm not the best player on the team, so I gotta learn how to find my way, how to do things, and gotta be strong and mentally tough. It's hectic, it's, there's a lot going on, it's fast, it's intense. And then as you start to like get more into it, you know, obviously years in, um, it gets easier, you know? He just, he just wants you to play hard. That's, that's his motto, he doesn't play hard, and it's that simple with him. This isn't, you gotta get in him and be tough and know which way to go, and when he starts to go, you gotta be chest and be physical. It's a different era now in coaching. You, you would get guys in the past that, that knew how to be coached and, and demanded of, but we might spend a two to one ratio on time off the court explaining to them why we're coaching with so much passion and so much intensity. You gotta be ready to catch and shoot. You caught the ball and jabbed and shot. You got, everything's gotta be off catch to shoot, shot fake. I feel like a, a disciplinary thing when I was younger, like, oh, like I messed up, like, oh, he's gonna yell at me. Or I was, now it's just like, he's, he's, it's coaching. That's, that's the part where you gotta grow up, you know what I mean? It's, it may not come out the way you think you want it to, but he's coaching you, trying to get you better. If they force you to drive, they got what they want. You understand? You wanna take the drive because you shot fake them, they flew by, then you, or you chose the drive, or you shot fake them slide. You understand? Don't just catch and put your head down. I don't think that you can just explain to a freshman what this is gonna be like because they're, they're really not gonna know. They're just gonna have their idea of what high school basketball was like, um, come in here and think it, it might be the same. Colin, you gotta be aggressive. First of all, you came off two guys with you. He's wide open. Get your head down, right? And then you get down in here. As you get down in here, you gotta look opposite. Look at him, and you didn't look opposite, right? And then you want to you just put your head down, head down to score. I said, oh, point guard? You gotta be aggressive to score, but you didn't see anything else. And when all the preparation finally pays off, when the hard work meets with opportunity, the results can be a beautiful thing. Samuel for the up until we start the Big East season, there's a lot of teaching going on. There's even times in the games where we're, we're making some decisions that might cause us to lose the game, but long term, it's a teaching lesson that we feel that the team needs. And you hope you can find a balance where you can still win. Um, the Kansas game is a great example. A lot of teaching, a lot of mistakes in that game, but you still find a way to win, and, and you can still learn from winning. 